Hello again. My name's Kevin. You're watching Little Nook Prepper. This is a video that I've been meaning to do for a couple of months, and I had actually ordered some of these boxes so that I wouldn't have to unload other stuff to put everything all together in to make it nice and neat. I'd contemplated putting it in a bag, but I thought this would be a little bit easier for storage. So, since when I ordered the ones the other day, I got the wrong ones. And that's my fault. I didn't look at the size. Uh, they just looked the same and it wasn't. So I emptied a bunch of stuff out and have put it in here. And this is where it's going to stay. And then I'll change things around, of course, later. This is my CBRN kit. I've got everything in here all in one place so I don't have to go hunt it down. If there was a chemical event, say a train derail, and there was some sort of gas that was leaking out and about, I need to put something like this on. So I've got several different things in here, some different, some the same. One thing I don't have in my kit and right here is my muck boots. They're actually in my truck because I've been using them. So um, they're not with this and they would sit typically in the room where the kit sits in my prep room. So they actually, they're a little bit too big to go in this box anyways, but they would be sitting right there beside it. Um, so it's not a big stretch for me to grab those. So, without further ado, here's my kit. First off, in case all I need is just to something small, don't have to worry about a lot of, uh, uh, oh, what is it, uh, radiation burn, I have just a, a little Tyvex kit, or Tyvex suit. I've got several of these. I always buy the great big ones. Um, that way I've got plenty of room to move around. The bad thing about these is they are one use and that's it. So, got a Tyvek suit just for that. I have ThyroSafe. Now I keep these also in the medicine cabinet. But I have ThyroSafe and Iostat. I have both different ones. And I keep enough in here just in case I had to grab the kit and go to my safe location. I've got enough here for several days. Of course, I've got a nice canteen, one made for drinking water out of with a gas mask on. I have my Mira Safety gas mask. This is the full face shield. This is the filter that came with the particular kit, and then I ordered several extras. I'm keeping a couple of those in here as well, just in case. I have tape so that I can tape everything together and to make this quick I've positioned this so I can rip it right off quickly. I have rubber gloves, glove liners. I'm also going to be getting or putting on some nitrile gloves, um, regular latex gloves underneath on my hands first then put the liners on then put the rubber gloves on. So I don't have those in here. Uh, that's one thing I do have to run, get, and put in here, but I'm gonna put that on. So after the fact, I've got, or after I put my hood on, my mask on, I've got a hood, protect all of my hair. I have a sealed up, <clears throat> now this is an NBC suit. So uh, in, this is a CB, I'm not sure if this is radiological. Yes, it's a CBRN suit. I picked this up at Eagles of War. Uh, either Eagles of War, US CAV, or um, Eagles Nest, I think's the name of it, in Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, you have the coat and the trousers. These are the trousers. That's my coat. And that's what I'm keeping in this kit. This kit is going to stay at the ready all the time. It's going to be, if I need it, I grab it and I go. I grab it, I put it on. The only cumbersome part will be opening this, these two up, and opening the plastic up on here, but I want them to last as long as they can. And if there were a serious threat, um, let's say a certain country nuked another country as a show of force, I probably would go ahead and open one of those up and have it on the mask ready to go but the only thing about this is as soon as you open it it starts absorbing things from uh, the surrounding area so 
it's going to get start getting moisture in it. It's going to start breaking down, and that's why I don't want to open it till I absolutely have to. So yeah, that's what I've got. I will go grab my nitrile gloves and put them in here when I am done with the video. And like I said, the muck boots they're in my truck because I've been using them. So um, yeah, I've got other boots I can put on that will protect me. Uh, just not quite the same as the mop gear. So anyhow, I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, like it, share it. Give me some comments. Tell me what you've done. If you've done anything differently. Uh, if you would do something different than what I have here. Or, or if you just like it. So anyhow, remember, there are a few problems in life that cannot be solved by Battleship Broadside. Have a good one, everybody.